So this Burr strategy, that's yeah. what I want us to focus on here. The the B R R. So it's a B with four R's Correct. strategy. So first, what does B R R R R stand for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's an acronym. Actually, the guys on Bigger Pockets, I think, were the ones that coined that phrase, Burr. So if you've ever listened to one of their podcasts, um, they're really big, big on that strategy. And that that essentially it's a it's a low and no money down real estate investing strategy. And they just created an acronym out of it. So the B stands for buy. And using the strategy, the idea is that after you go through a refinance down the road, that's one of the later R's in it, is that essentially the idea is that you'll be able to pull all of the money that you had to use out of that deal and let somebody else fund a hundred percent of that deal. So then you can recycle that money. So say like you, you're, I love your private money stuff and it's so valuable for real estate investors to be using private money for this strategy as well. Um, but they may only need it for a short time. Maybe it's only a bridge loan that they need from a private investor for three to six months to refinance it. But then they have already done all the hard work of raising that private money and having that relationship with that investor. And now they can pay that investor back, maybe refinance it into some bank financing or something like that now that the property stabilized. And then they can take that private investor's lump sum that they have and go do another deal and then pay them back in three to six months and go do another deal. And then you, you know, you raise one good private lender and boom, you, you can create millions of dollars of, of real estate and of assets um, just by doing that strategy. So the B is buy, you have to buy in order to use this recycling strategy, uh, you have to be able to buy it below market value. So that, that B is important because if you're not buying it right, and that's the number one rule in real estate is you have to, you make your money when you buy, if you don't buy these properties below market value, the strategy will never work. You, you typically aren't just going to go on MLS and pick up a turnkey property and be able to do something like this. You have to pick something up typically that you can get below market value and that you can add value to in order to increase and, um, and gain some, some equity in the deal. So that's B. The R is rehab. So the next R is rehab. So what you have to do is you have to add value to the property. And typically that comes from renovations. So a lot of times the properties we're looking for in this strategy are distressed in some way, uh, meaning that they're outdated. Maybe the roof is bad, whatever the case is, there's something that is going on that you know would prevent this seller potentially from being able to just put it on MLS and have a retail buyer move in and get a conventional loan on that property. There's typically some type of value add that is a reason why you're getting that property at a discount. All right, the next R is rent. So buy, rehab, rent. And so essentially what we're doing is we're getting this property stabilized. So we're going to get it fixed up. We bought it below value. We're getting it fixed up. Then we're going to get a good paying tenant in there because now you have a nicely updated unit um, that, and then that's well stabilized. And then we're going to go for the refinance. That's the next R. And that's where we can pay back our private lenders or if we used our own private money, uh, our own, you know, maybe we had a home equity line of credit that we pulled and we used that. Now we can go and refinance and pay ourselves back or pay our private lenders back or our hard money lenders or whatever we use to acquire and rehab that property. We could pay them back and make them whole with their interest and anything else that you agreed on to pay them. And then the, the final R that we like is uh, repeat. So then it's just repeat the process as many times as you want and grow your grow your portfolio as big as you want. And the key is as long as you can get the money and get the deal, you can just keep repeating this thing over and over and over again. And it literally becomes just like a um, rinse and repeat process. And uh, it's a very, very powerful strategy, especially for people who are looking to just get started and, and build a, a sizable portfolio relatively quickly.